Tonight is the night. It's 20 to 1. And you better run. Monday night. Rah. Here we go, guys. We're back. Fog wrestling. Bring you all. Across tier the list. Tier, yeah, across the nation. Uh, to be loved. Zeno, fucking no, 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 Nickelback. No, no, no. I mean, it's, it's as if the song gets worse with the product. Isn't it? Yep. I mean, come on. Like... <laughs> I don't know. At least the SmackDown theme, I guess, in 2021 is not that bad. The ACDC one, but... Ah, oh, yeah, but it, it couldn't be any more wrong. No, we're not ready, like, are you? No. Are you ready to turn off the TV and go to bed? I'm yes, ready I am. for a good time, but you're not giving me it. Uh, <laughs> you're disappointing me. Anyway, speaking of disappointing, it's time to rate the Raw roster. Um, Easily the worst show at the moment. And probably being three hours has something to do with it. Probably having the weaker roster as well has something to do with it. I yeah. feel like the I just feel like the people on SmackDown are fresher. I don't know. See, I see Ross, like, it's very dull and boring and red and fucking drabby and pish. And I, I, yeah, like SmackDown looks, it just looks yeah, much better. It's, it's, yeah, Raw it's, just looks like it's it's been stuck in a fucking time capsule for about seven yeah. years. I don't know. Yeah, pretty much. Anyway, with that said, guys, uh, let's start this list. Now we're going to go from left to right. I don't think they're in alphabetical order. They're not in. They're not in order of like weight or height or anything like that. If it was in, if it was in order of weight, then that fat bastard Keith Lee would be at the top left, ready to go first. But here, yeah, it's not. So I, I don't know what order it is. But we're gonna go from left to right, and we're just gonna go through the, all these people. Just the five categories: S, A, B, C, and D. We're ranking them based on what we think of them in August, two thousand twenty-one. So when we get to Randy Orton, for example, we're not rating them overall. In his career, we're rating him what we think of the guy in 2021. And I I feel like that definitely will play a factor. Because I think there's some people that, that are on this list that you would rate them a lot higher if it was like an overall thing. If I say, for example, Jeff Hardy, I think he'd be one of the highest here. But whereas I don't think he might be, I don't think he will be now because of, you know, the whole 20... What's Jeff Hardy doing in 2021? Yeah. Absolutely nothing. A relevant job in it. Yeah, it's fucking awful. I mean, I mean... I'm looking here, and I don't see many getting out the bottom. I think, to me, like, see the guys that have been around for, like, more than a decade? I think they're all worse now than they were when they first came in. Which tells me that the booking's awful. And Yeah. Because you think you would progress the longer you were doing it, the more experienced you think, the better you would get. Like, I feel like Bobby Lashley, I can't really... Right, but see, sh should Seamus not be better now with all the experience than he was when he first came into it when he was green? I know. Yeah, he's not. Anyway, with that said, guys, let's start the list. And we're going to start with Eva Marie, recently returned Eva Marie. D. We got a, we got a shitload of vignettes and, uh, you know, um, segments and Eva Marie posing on a, a Ferrari car and all this. And it's hard, though, when they're trying to portray her as just like this hot, you know, sexy woman when they don't do that. When it's like, you know, all they care about now is, is women and re wrestling and, you know, equality. Yeah, they're, they're trying to portray Eva Marie as, like, you know, this the opposite. <laughs> so, uh, straight, straight off the bat, it doesn't really make any sense. You no. know? Yeah, uh, how can you have all those vignettes and, oh, we're not going to do any of that. She's going to be tag teaming with some fat fucking wheel. You know, it, it would be it'd be like trying to promote a, a racist character when you, you don't have racism in your show. It's like, you know, it's, it doesn't make any sense. How can they really portray... The, her whole character is that she's hot, but she's not allowed to be hot. So how can the character go anywhere? And to me, I don't think she's done anything, anything meaningful. And I mean, yeah, she's done a feud with Alexa Bliss at the moment. She, like you said, she's teaming with Dewdrop. I mean, you just look at Dewdrop. Fucking Dewdrop. The, Dewdrop. The, the name, the appearance. She in this list? Yep. Um, for me, I, worry, fat ass, you're going I think she could have been higher, but the. That's fucking awful, man. I, I, our last run, I had to put her on a C. I, I think our last run was more memorable. Well, when she came out, she's yeah. supposed to have the match against Becky Lynch. It's nothing personal because uh, everyone else is going in D. So no, but remember, she, remember, she kept having to have like the, the she, her, her debut, and then it kept getting postponed or whatever. Yep. Plus another thing. She's like thirty five. Is she not? I know. I mean, everyone fucking on this list is probably. About yeah, 35. I know. No, I, I get that, but. Um, let's be real, Trish and Lita retired before they hit 31. Same with The Rock. I mean, there's so many fucking people. No, I, I, what I'm more meaning is, like, they're portraying her as, like, this hot woman, but, like, I mean, the fact that she's, like, getting into her mid-30s now is a bit... 
I know I find that weird. You'd think they would do that with someone younger, but yeah, it is what it is. Uh, up next on the well, list. See, hold on, I'm going off topic here. But see, see, Austin retiring at 38 now. That seems far too young. Yeah. But see, then you thought oh, Austin had a good career. Like. Yeah. Anyway, yes. Next up next, up. we've got a uh, raw former women's champion. Too busy at the moment on YouTube uh, doing cooking tutorials and stuff like this. So I don't know what's the problem. Is she injured or not? We haven't seen her on Raw. So, hey, I just don't really see what the fuck not um, doing, doing hee haw. Yeah, due, due to inactivity, we'll put her at D. I think she'll right. probably be last just due to inactivity. Up next, I've got Seamus. Student with jobbers, gets his nose broke by jobbers. He's just pissed. What I would say is, I kind of like his look at the moment. I, I, I do prefer the look he's got at I the moment. Well, look your ass on out here, Jabroni. I mean, it's just. just he, had, he had a good match at WrestleMania against Riddle. Aye, but aye, that was like six months ago, mate. D. I'm. Are you going to just put everybody in D no, here? No, I'm, I'm, I'm being fucking oh, truthful. Well, we're putting yeah. him on top of D then. That's he, all right. But he, I expect more. Like you said, he's been here a decade. Fucking more. 12 years and he's pish. Ricochet. Fucking 14, I think it is. Bought my, D, bought my D. Ah, this guy. Okay. Um, This is either Mace or T-Bar. Bought him. He's, he's, I think he's going below at least Ricochet. I know, at least I know who Ricochet yeah. is. Uh, Naomi. It's, in, it's, in between Eva Marie and Asuka. Really? What's she doing? I get, well, she hasn't been seen in weeks. Right. I am putting her below. I right, ask her for enough. But she's really better than Ricky. She. This guy was Luch Underground World Champ. Yeah. I'm going to put her below Ricky. I'm sorry. Okay, that's fair enough. Right next. I mean, what, what's what's Naomi's best ever moment? Name it. Probably going the, to that hotel room at least. Right, all right, all right, fair enough. Deja gets released, guys. Here, try, so I'm trying. I'm trying to give. The, I know all these people are shite, right? But at least people can't accuse me of being biased. I try and give. Right, pe- you, you I know, try and give people the benefit of the doubt. You literally said at the start of this, we can't base off the careers, and yet you want to talk about our best moment. Make your fucking mind up. No, I'm just saying. I, I was making the well, best. I don't know. It probably is a hotel room thing. All right, next up with Omas. I don't mind. You don't like this guy. I don't well, mind. I'm actually gonna wait. I'm actually gonna put Ricochet above Asuka. Oh, fuck, groundbreaking. Because, yeah, because she's not here. Right, Omas, right, uh, to me, he's just a big guy that stands next to AJ. Yeah, I, I reckon you could literally find any guy that's like seven foot two and, and stick him with AJ and it would not make a single fucking difference. Oh, this guy's got his height. And, I mean, where do you want him? Put him below, below Seamus. I agree. I don't mind him, but I agree. I think that's right, awesome. next up, this, this guy is Jason fucking Riker. this Gunner. last fucking last. Well, Vince Russell thinks he's great. I don't give two shits. See, see this any, guy supports no, Trump. No, see, any, I don't give a shit. He can support fucking Afghanistan. any cause I want, but last. See, any time I see him and Elias having a match, destruction of sympathy, or in a tag team, I want to blow my Wait, fucking Wait, you want to put him below T-Bar? Yeah, fuck him. Right, fair right, and see the next, see the next fucking free stick <laughs> and blow him. Who's the fucking? F- oh, hold on, Grand Matalik and Lynn Dorora. I and Grand fucking Jobber. <laughs> stick and blow him. Who's the fuck guy? I think it's Kareem. I'm fucking stick him on the last man. Honestly. Wait, behind, behind Jason Riker or in front? Of Jason? Not behind him. Not that it matters, but behind him. But you just say he's the worst thing. But I, but he's free or worse. <laughs> what the fuck? Right, next up, brother. No, but how the fuck are all these people on Raw? Remember, he was in the main event for like three months. I know. Him and Angel Fieri, along with Boren Andrade. Right, Riddle. I'll stick him in B. I'm, I, I, think, I think Matt Riddle's got potential, right? His character's goofy. And, but I don't, think, I don't think what he's doing at the moment with Randy Orton's that bad. No, people are going, this is a fully grown man. But I think... He's supposed to be that way, you know what I mean? He's not supposed to have all, I feel like he's not supposed to, he, well, he's, he's special. I, I mean, just put, see, see being real, see compared to the rest of them, he's probably an S, but for me, S is like 10, and B is like a 7, 6. Yeah. So I, I can't put him A or S. No, no, see, I, see, think, see, I think these D's, these, these, these are like zeros. I think he's got potential to be the next breakout star. I mean, you, you just look at Riddle, though, and he, he's, I mean, see, you look at a Riddle, right, and you look at a Humberto Carrillo, and like you just can't tell me, it's like it's like it's like this guy's Carlito and this guy's like fucking Mac Gingerhead or something. Aye. And that's probably harsh that's on Mark yeah, Gingerhead. That's very. Um, Nathan Jones. Aye. Mm. <laughs> Someone pish. But there was no one that pish. 
I was going to say, like... But I mean, Nathan Jones wasn't supposed to be good. He was just supposed to be a big guy that stood next to Lesnar. Aye. Next up, though, last. This is last. Someone who looks like I, you can you can try and get me banned if you want. No, I don't care. If but someone, see some of no, the, I do. That, that acting. On that no, clip. no, I, no, I do. No, see that clip. No, no, no I, take weight out of the equation. No, you can't take. There's a lot of weight there, and you just can't take out the equation. I will say you could. Nah, you can't take I that much of weight. Could. Nah, that's what no, the acting pounds. alone was pish. To, I look at her, and I just One to me, it, to me, it looks like a Hulk Hogan opponent for these. And it's a like a, like a King Kong Bundy or an earthquake. It's your typical. And the attire as well. That is a Hulk Hogan opponent, right? And if you're a Hulk Hogan opponent in 2021, you are... Is she going last? Yes. Right, right. Dana Brooke, someone I've never liked. This can go anywhere in D. I don't have a problem. Uh, I think she'll be getting released soon. Hasn't done nothing. Right, behind Naomi, then. Right, next up with Cedric Alexander. Again, if I see him against Benjamin one more time, I will kill myself. Stick uh, him above uh, T-Bar. If it's T bar, I don't know. Now I'm gonna put him above. That's mm. alright. The ask us a bit. She's um expired at the moment. Uh, I think I think I think Cedric Alexander's better than Ricky. Is he not? I think he got a bit more about him. Right. I'm gonna stick him there. Right, Akira Tosawa, stick him above. Uh, I, I don't stick think this guy's hot. Like I don't think this guy's hot. Or... No, you know he's not horrible, but what? Stick, he, what? Oh, for, for, for fucking stick him below all these no, guys. Because no, because see these guys, they're jobbers and they're kind of just in. They're, they're, they're used the odd. Yeah, is is this guy not? Two, is this guy not the former two hundred five champion? Two hundred five live. Aye, but do you want to stick him below Humberto Carrillo? No, see this stuff, the roll ups with Reggie. No, I'm it's fucking no. Big Ninja. <laughs> Oh, right, okay, fuck it. Next up, Lacey Evans. No, there. I actually didn't think she was that bad, but. I so know. what is the gimmick? See someone, see people that are no there. You know what? I'm going. What we're, we're, we're going to do? We're just going to create a new car- a category right now. Why? What do you mean? What do you mean? Why? Because oh, hold on. Because um, how the fuck do you click after this? See, that's why you can do that. <laughs> uh, oh Jesus Christ! For Lacey Evans. All right, we're back with the updated list after I deleted it like an absolute tool, but we're back. I saved the show. Unlike Raw, this was actually saveable. Uh, we'll put it... Uh, if you're inactive, right, you're just going, going to go inactive because like we said, we're basing this on August 2021. Now, obviously, you don't need to have appeared on the last show, but you need to have been at least active, you know, in the last... I'd say at least the last month or two. Yes. And these people haven't been on, so... And if they have, well, we don't know, so therefore... Up next with Randy Orton. I'll stick him in C. Because you know, the, the stuff he's did in the last two episodes has probably, probably been the best stuff in the show. Doesn't mean anything, but... I'm going to stick him in C as well. Yeah. He's just... He's, he, he's boring. Yeah. But he is... He's good, like, but he's, he's boring. And he's... I don't know, yes, <laughs> right, I don't want to see you, don't I bury the guy? Next up, Jeff Hardy, put, I'll stick him top of D, because he brought back no more words, and that's, 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 that's probably it. When you beat Carrie and Cross, like, was that enough? I'm on the job. It's just, the, the guy's been booked atrocious, so like, is he going to head to AEW? I'm on the mess. Would you blame him, like, I'm if he wants to go and hang out with his brother? Um, up next with Mandy Rose, again, hasn't been seen, just like Dana Brooke. I believe she's actually on NXT, so we won't count her. Bobby Lashley, the Destroyer, Bobby Lashley. Um, I I like Bobby Lashley, and I think this is some of the best work of his career at the moment. See, to be honest, I always I'll be honest, right? See, watching ECW, I used to not like Bobby Lashley. I used to think he sucked. Yeah. But see, actually watching it back, I don't think it was that bad. I actually think he was good in the ring. I think the match he had with McMahon there that street fight, I thought it was the best match of that show. Yep. And I'm not saying he was great on the mic, but I think the promos that he's had, the sit-downs with McMahon he's had, have actually been pretty good. So I, I think I've always underrated Bobby Lashley, and I'm enjoying his run at the moment, but I don't think he's better than Riddle. At this, I just think Riddle is... I'll put him, yeah, I'll put I think him behind he's, I think he's Riddle. B. Yep. I just don't think he's better. Would you agree with that? Or yes. Happy enough, all right? Yeah. I mean, I, I like him, and I think he's, he's having a good run at the moment, he's champion. Much better run than Drew McIntyre, but... I just can't. And um, I'm putting this guy last behind Dewdrop. 
It's Keith Lee, guys. Oh, we... do drop. I don't know what I'm that. <laughs> Alright, I had the do drop then. We'll justify it, why? I actually know what that monitor Do you not remember that promo he cut with Riddle backstage? What did I just say? Yeah, I fucking did. No, I, and he's about the same well, size as Dude Drop. Maybe, maybe I could do it. Maybe I could be an actor. <laughs> maybe I could be last. No, you are. <laughs> Fuck off, Keith. People actually rate this guy. Oh, no. Undeniable Keith Lee, and he does this wee stupid pose. Undeniably shite, I agree. Right, I'm next with Ali. Put him above Dude Drop. He's fucking shit. Retribution. Here, was it not me? Right? Not, uh, not that that angle ever had legs. But it felt a wee bit... But you're, you're a double amputee when this guy's the leader. But I think people thought it was going to be punk. And then they get Mustafa Ali. It's like... See, to me, it was never going to be punk because I, I think punk wouldn't come back to be the leader of a group. I mean, like, you, fucking hacking. Especially a, a jobber group. I mean, you want it's not like he's coming back to be the leader of the NWO. It's fucking retribution here. I know. A bunch of guys with masks. Anyway, enough of CM Punk, he's not on this list, but Mustafa Ali, I'll put him in D. I actually think he's not going to, I think there'll be a few people below him, to be fair. I do think that. Oh. Uh, I'm next with MVP. Again, I like MVP, but... Why is he still using a stick? Yeah, well, he does have an injury, like legit injury. Aye, but that's, that's been like six months ago. I don't think it's his fault, I just think a lot of the stuff... They're doing it at the moment's boring. Oh, you're, you're going to fight the almighty, I mean. Put him above Orton. Can we get some new material? I mean, put put MVP in at C. Up next with Drew McIntyre. I actually think has been a bit better since he lost the belt. Um, I thought his stuff with Corbin last week was no bad. Then he, he cut a promo for Shanky since Shanky can't cut a promo. And Brian Sack, I didn't know uh, Drew McIntyre knew Punjabi. I mean, I'm, I'm going to put, I, I, I'm happy enough to put him bottom of C. I think he's just done enough to get out the D category. Fair enough. From what I've seen of Drew McIntyre lately. Now, I thought that, I thought that, I like the thing with Corbin as well. But uh, I'm putting Drew McIntyre C. Do you agree with that? Aye. Up next, who's this dude? Mace or T-Bar. Oh, just sticking beside the other guy then. Aye. Get in the bin. Next up, we have. Drew Gulak. Well, I mean, <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. I was even on the show. Yeah, I know. I think we'll put him in an active because I haven't seen him. All right, I can go beside his banger buddies. Wait, who's that? So no one, no retribution. Who's that then? Retribution. I don't think that guy's in retribution anymore. Retribution's done. You know what? I think this is the inactive guy, so we're going to stick him in there beside Drew Gulak. Keep him company. Hey, I'm next. We've uh, got the smaller member of the Fighting Raid. I do not rate this team at all. I mean, they had a bit of a few. Remember, they had that thing with the Street Profits? I know it was a bit a year ago, but. Yeah. I mean, the last time I seen these guys, they lost to AJ and Almost. Um, for me, it's a. Uh, it's D. Yeah, they're, they're awful, man. Um, I'm, I'm going to put them below Mason T Bar because I feel like with Mason T Bar, you've actually. I feel like the fact they wear masks. Well, they don't really wear masks. Oh, I feel one. like the fact they're new, it's like... Move the other one. I don't see that. Oh, him. Like, big fatty. I mean, what is it with all these gross fucking fatigue, obese... Bastards. Uh, speaking of fat bastards, obese. Well, I've got Nia Jax up next. Uh, Nia Snacks, former women's tag team champion. I, I absolutely has done nothing. Uh, was in a bit of a storyline with Reginald. Uh, to me, she's always going to be in the D category. But, I mean, I think she's a lot better than, like, if we compare her with Dewdrop, because they're about the same size, I'd say she's a lot better than Dewdrop, isn't she? Yeah. We'll put her. She's better than these people with masks. She is. I don't care. She is better. In fact, she's related to The Rock. She's better. I would put her... I think we should stick her in between uh, Retribution and the, fa- the, the Rakeland. Aye. The, the Oakland... What are they called? The Viking Raiders, aye. Ah, that's it. The Those Oakland, guys. The Oakland Raiders. Um, right, up next, Alexa Bliss. I just don't really like the whole fucking Lily thing. Aye, top of D. Should be a lot higher, but the fuck, what the material's pish. Mm. I, I, I think bottom of C. I think top right, of... but the material's pish. 
I know, but seeing you look at that promo, I, I don't think it's her fault. I actually thought she was... I think the way she was delivering her lines were actually no bad. Ah, it was a fucking dewdrop. You know what? I, I the thought... the fact it's a doll. I thought the fact she was delivering the lines was alright. Like, I mean, I think she's a good actress. Bit pathetic, the way she got on over a pig. But, um... Yeah. Not real. Uh, we'll put her in the... Our truth. I like your truth, but you're going beside Akira. I, I'm done with this roll up. I, no, but I think this guy's overrated. People say he's a national treasure on us. I think he was funny, but I don't think he's been fun. I mean, how many funny moments has he really had since, let's say, in the last five years? I think a lot. Of, I think a lot of it's been really bad comedy that people make it as if it's great because the product's that bad. I'm not a big fan of our truth, but I, I refuse to put him below half of these people. Like, I'm sorry. No, I think our truth should go. A, a bit above Eva Marie. Fair enough. Yeah, you know, he just doesn't deserve to be beside Tosawa. Who, again, I don't think is that bad. Like, but hey, right, up next, man, so this guy, in my opinion, can go just to be behind Ali. Aye. It's actually harsh, I think, to have Ali beside him. He's shit. Um, this guy is uh, that Angel Garza. Yep. See, you know, I think he's on NXT. So, is he? Oh, I think so. Well, I'm yeah. seen it. I haven't seen him on Raw. Rhea Ripley, she's got the belt. She doesn't have it anymore. Awful. This beside dude drop. See that that promo. This is my brutality. No, this man. is my brutality. Uh, up next with uh Connor the Crusher. Uh, uh, Sheena Baszler. Condog. Um she... awful. Again, I mean What can you really say about her? Awful. I mean... Shite character, ugly bastard, um Connor. Just fuck Why it. Why are you teaming up with Charlotte? Well, 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 put, it beside Nia, put it beside Nia Jax. Aye. Below or above? Not that it matters. Well, it kind of does. Alright, below then. Right, below, right, okay. The Miz. I kind of like a bliss gimmick. I mean, it's material shite. But he's the Miz. Yeah. I mean, that, 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 hold on, out of the clips, we watched that moist TV, it's pish as the whole thing is. in between Orton and MVP. I think that's fair. That's right, right, that's Morrison right. in there as well. Yeah, we'll stick jo Johnny drip. fucking drip strip in there. Um, below or above the Miz? You know what, I think he's always jobbing it to the Miz, so I think we should stick him above him. Fair enough. Although he didn't fucking feature in eight Marine films, so we'll put him below the Miz. Aye, but that's probably a good thing. Actually, you're right. <laughs> Get back ahead. Oh, right. Um, up next, we've got Jinder Mahal. I mean, a, a guy that I actually kind of like, but at the moment, he's hanging about with a couple of guys called Shanky and Fear. And, Shanky. And I just... Um, Shanky. I think, I think Jinder Mahal at the moment is... Yeah, I'm going to put him... I think behind even Marie, he's a bit fair. Oh. Well, I seems a bit of a fucking right to me. And do you want to comment on any of these guys? Or? There's really not much for me to say. Like, I mean... When I say the pish, I would like to elaborate, but... Right, up next, Damien Priest. Oh, God. Oh, goodness. You think this guy's that bad? I think it's the material. I'm sick of see, that. See, to be honest, like, see that see that clip we watched? I think that was some of the best... I think that's the best I think he's seen. No, it. but is it not awful? I know, but it's like... I know. It's the same shit. That was happening six months ago. All right, I'm just saying, I think, I think that stuff that he done with Miz and Morrison on Moist TV is better than fucking anything I've seen from... Him, you know, <laughs> give me give me Damien Priest over the uh, Keith Lee any no, day of the week. I agree, but do you know, it's just it's it's oh, it's just I'm sick of looking at him. I'd be willing to stick Damien Priest at the top of D. Fair enough. I would have stuck him at bottom of C, but I think you'd probably have a heart attack. Uh, Shelton Benjamin, I just a guy that's going absolutely nowhere at the moment. I mean, um, I just stick him beside. I'd stick him above Cedric. Because he's better than Cedric, but... Yeah, well, what is, what's he even doing? No, nah, nothing. I mean, him and Cedric took on Bobby Lashley two weeks ago or something, three weeks ago, and they got buried, uh, you know. Well, The Fiend, he is gone. So The Fiend will, will go in the inactive list, but we'll put him top of inactive, because he's actually pretty, he was no bad. Right, up next, we've got Charlotte Flair. Awful. I'm the queen, I'm the opportunity. Opportunity, your ass on out of here, jabroni. I just, I, I, I don't like Charlotte Flair. Nope. I mean, I, I, I'm trying to think, uh, the... The women that the they like fucking portray as top stars at the moment. I think she's my least favourite. 
I I prefer Bailey over Charlotte. Yeah. I prefer Sasha. I prefer Becky. I prefer Alexa. I'm trying to think who else. I prefer Carmella. Am I missing them on it? It's just. She thinks she's fucking old something and it annoys me. Because she's fucking... See if she wasn't Ric Flair's daughter. I know. I mean, her in-ring works good. I'm not going to say it's not. I mean, if she wasn't Ric Flair's daughter, right, she'd still be up there. No, but see... She would never have as many. Her, her yeah. in, in-ring works good, right? I'm not going to say it's not. But Drew Gulak's in-ring works fucking good. I know. And name one, you know what I mean? It doesn't mean shit. Everyone on this list more or less has a good in-ring work. Yeah, name me, a, name me someone shit. who can't fucking work here. No, I mean, no, the fucking ricochet's partly the matter. Apart from Omas. Aye, he's probably like the guy that... I mean, even this fat prick with the big tits can get a decent match. Who is that again? One of the Fakeland uh, Raiders. It's Scotland, mate. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, Charlotte. Oh, I'm not going to put that wish, no. Sticker. <laughs> oh, where are we sticking her? In the fucking bin. Um, I prefer you, Marie. I prefer gender. I prefer these two. I prefer, probably prefer ricochet. A sticker above Nia Jax. Fair enough. Um, AJ Styles, um, I'm sorry. I like the guy. Love the guy. I think he's great. But at the moment, he's just not doing it for me. I will say he... Uh, it's, it's not He's not a bad... I think he's actually an alright promo guy. I don't think it's promo... But it's just... He's sticking beside a big guy. What can you... I'm going to put him... I think... I think below Damien Priest. I, I actually prefer Damien Priest at the moment over AJ Styles. Fair enough. Well, have you anything to add other than fair enough? I can't complain. Keep in mind, I don't think the next five people are going to like do anything drastic on this list. So I mean, if you've got a, if you've got if you've got a case to make, fucking... if you've got a case to make, make it now. Um, right, Nikki Ash up next. Beside, beside I'm, no, I'm putting I'm putting her behind Keith Lee. All right, fair enough. Wait, 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 Nah, nah. Have you not seen her promos? Oh, well, I have... I think they're fuck. I mean, I've actually got a case for all four of these guys going below fucking Nicky Ash, so... <sighs> no, nah, I can't see it. Like, Kofi Kingston. If you take it... See if you take out the fact that he should never be world champ. Is he really that bad? No, but... Yeah, no, 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 I'd say... I think it's fair to, I think it's fair to say he's the worst member of the New Day. Yep. Is he the most annoying member of the New Day, though? I'd say Big E is. Yep. Xavier Wood's probably the best, and he's the guy that's been shafted. I know. W. Um, I will put Kofi Kingston. Put him. Put him above. I mean, he's better than fucking Benjamin, and I just uh, stack him above Marie. Say true for him. Right. 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 Can I get into this next guy here? Right, Reginald. Last fucking lot. No, see this part. No, right, get get it last. Behind Nicky Cross. Yeah. Nicky Ash. Yes. Nah. Yes. What do you mean, nah? All right, hold on. I think he cuts better promos than Nicky Ash. No, but this. Oh, I, I use parkour. Well, he's, what's he? At least he doesn't come and say almost a parkour. All right then. Yeah. At right. least this guy never main offended it two two weeks in a row. Fair enough. No, but I'm not gonna. No, they're fucking off, both of them. I would say Reginald is. I would put Reginald. I would put Reginald above Rhea Ripley. Put him below carefully. <laughs> I'm trying to compromise here. Fuck me. All right, guys, let's know down below. Do you think Reginald should be higher? Because I don't think he's worse than these three. I don't. Well, I don't think he's worse. I just think the gimmick is atrocious. Up next, Elias. I mean, technically, the guy could be inactive because apart from like two seg, two like vignette promos, we haven't seen him. Um, boring. Like uh, the promos don't like that bad. Like it's a bit of fire and a, a guitar got burnt, but I, I mean, o- overall, like, I mean, what can you what can you really say about him? The, the, it, it, he's been Elias and ever since he walked in, he was Elias, and WWE sta- stood for what we Elias, and like six years later, it still stands for that. He's not progressed. He still comes out and plays his guitar. Pretty sure the only reason they're getting rid of him is because of a guy in SmackDown that plays the guitar, and McMahon's like, we can't have two guitar players. Books. Yeah, exactly. Um, I, no, I just think, see, when I first seen this guy, I thought, oh, fuck, this guy looks good. This guy's got potential. And it's just no, never happened. Nothing. I mean, the, the best thing this guy's done 
in like last couple of years has let John Cena slap his nuts in his face. Mm, yeah. you know, I mean, apart from that, I can't, I, I can't remember anything this guy's done. Um, I mean, you could argue it inactive. I fuck I think we'll stick him in inactive because why not? And uh, last but not least, Xavier Woods. I mean, I think he's all right, but he's just not doing anything. You know what? We'll stick him. We'll say Kofi King's probably sticking him up. And that's our list. Hey, right, guys, that, that is the list then, right? Uh, yeah, top, yeah. I agree with that. I think the best two people on Raw at the moment are Matt Riddle and Bobby Lashley, and they and they round off the, the B category. Then in C, we've got MVP, Johnny Drip Drip, The Miz, Randy Orton, Drew McIntyre and Alexa Bliss. Um, D, we've got Priest, AJ, Hardy, Sheamus, Almost Truth. Woods, Kingston, Eva Marie, Jinder Mahal, Benjamin, Cedric Alexander, Ricochet, Mason T-Bar, Charlotte Flair, Nia Jax, Shayna Baszler, the fat guy for the for the, for the, for the, right, the Raiders, uh, the skinny guy for the Raiders, well, the not-so-fat guy for the Raiders, um, the boring gunner for TNA, Grand Metalik, Lince Dorado, uh, the, the, the Humberto Carrillo, uh, Akira Tosawa, I'm trying to remember half of these names, it's fucking... Yeah. It's just, I just have a pair eyes here. Um, Ali, Ali, Monsoor, uh, Rhea Ripley, Doudrop, Keith Lee, Reggie, Nikki Pish, and Nikki a bunch of inactive people who half the money in there. Yeah. Literally. Name them all, bitch. <laughs> um, I actually named this guy. <laughs> guy with a mask and shit up. Anyway, that's our list. Let's know, what you, CM Punk or let's, let's know what you think down below. Uh, if you agree with our list, if you don't agree with our list, um, do you agree that Riddle and Lashley are the two best things on Raw? If you don't, then I'd like to know what Raw you're watching. But until next time, peace.